Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Nighthawk figure. So before we take a look at Nighthawk, let's take a look at the other accessory that he comes with. Well, not really an accessory. He uh, just comes with the right arm and sword of the Thanos Build-A-Figure. And as for Nighthawk himself, he doesn't actually come with any accessories. So let's go ahead and just hop right on into this review. So taking a look at the head sculpt. I'm pretty sure, well, I know the head sculpt is brand new because he has these wings that extends from under his eyes right here. But it kind of does, if you do that, it kind of looks like Black Bolt. So it may just be a retooling of the Black Bolt head because that'd be easy just to add these. But it looks pretty good. You know, the lines could have been a little straighter right here on the sides of his mask. But it's not bad. At least his eyes came out clean. At least his eyes aren't leaking down his face. Um, the body is the standard Bucky Cap body mold. Uh, the hands and the cape. The cape, of course, is brand new, but the hands are too. I'm surprised Hasbro just didn't uh, reuse the uh, Wolverine hands for his claws. But they didn't, because, you know, we all know how Hasbro likes reusing things. But this cape is really big, and it's heavy. It's tricky to get him to stand with it, because it's very top-heavy. As you can see, he wants to lean forward. It was incredibly difficult getting him to stand for the beginning of this review, but it, it doesn't have any detail to it. It's just cast in this red collar, and there is no detail whatsoever to it. I wish they would have done like a, a wash like they did on Citizen V. Uh, that would have been nice to see a, a maroon wash over top of the red, but we do not get that. Looking at the insignia here on his chest, it is, it is very spotty. Uh, the blue is showing through. It almost looks greenish at the edges. And hold on there. You can see that it is very spotty and crackly. The blue showing through. They just didn't even paint this good right here on the ab crunch. And looking at his claws, they didn't paint them good either because they're they're done in gold. And the gold is all over his hand right here. And uh hold on, let me get him. Now on these claws, they they're not painted the best, like I said, but uh at least the inside of his claws are painted. On his right hand, on his left hand, it, it's not even there. The The paint is virtually non-existent. And, you know, that really sucks. So the gold is just really spotty. And then there's a place of green right here, and I don't even know what that's from because there's not even any green on this figure. So the green there, I'm not sure where that's from, but it's not painted very good. They could have definitely painted his left hand a lot better. And looking at it, I think this might be a new piece, the forearm right here, because it's not from the Bucky Cap body mold. But now we'll go over the articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look back all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out that far. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, swivel at the rest that can move side to side, and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can only move back just a little bit because of the cape, because it pegs in there to his back. He can crunch forward that far. And if it unports right there, you'll have to peg it back in. He has swivel at the waist, ball jointed hip that can move out that far. He can't kick forward all the way, and he can't kick back all the way. He has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee. Swivel at the boot that can move side to side, swivel at the ankle that can move down and up, and an ankle rocker. So the articulation is pretty much standard, as you'd expect. So now let's do some size comparisons. So getting him to stand is tricky because of that big cape. Let's try and get him to stay in there. So here he is, next to the Toy Biz Series 1 Hulk. This is the only classic Hulk figure I have, and it's still a pretty good figure. The proportions are a little off, but still a pretty good figure. So there he is next to him. Here he is next to the Toy Biz Classic Doctor Strange with the uh, Marvel Now's cape on. And we still need this Doctor Strange. I'm surprised we haven't gotten him by now. Here he is next to Namor. And there he just fell over. But there he is next to him. And the cape fell out again. That is super frustrating. 
So now let's get him standing again to resume the size comparisons. Here he is next to Valkyrie, and she is way taller than him. This isn't uh, the correct look for the Defender's Valkyrie. This is her current outfit, and the normal Valkyrie for the Defenders would have been her classic look. And finally, here he is next to the Silver Surfer figure. So now I just need Hellcat to finish the Defenders lineup. So overall, this Nighthawk figure, it's... It's just really plain. There's no accessories. It uses the Bucky Cap body mold, which I'm getting really tired of seeing. Hopefully Hasbro will use a new body mold uh, here pretty soon. Or just switch over to the Spider-Man 2099 body mold. That'd be really good. So, that's my review. And if you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.